Let me just say, in fact, just let me say right up front. This is a terrible idea. Never do this, right? Never do this. But I do this a lot. So I think once you get the hang of it, uh, there's a lot more control here than people realize. So it's really about weight distribution and just keeping his spine turned the opposite direction that I want to go. So I call this the east-west choke, right? But it's based on this principle here. Is what I, what I found is when I was trying to play for my arm triangle or my punch choke, that if guys could turn and look this way, they could always, like if I gave too hard of a cross face here, they can always eventually say, maybe not even save themselves, but survive. It makes it hard to put everything together. Even if like I, he doesn't turn that far, like I'm keeping him turned he, tight here, but he's, he's not facing the other way, then he might as well be facing this way. You feel you got power to this side. This is the side he wants to recover his guard on, right? So what I started doing, and I originally got this idea from a guy named Daniel O'Brien. If y'all don't know him, he's a phenomenal black belt uh, out of Triad here in Alabama. Um, but he said something, I think he actually said it to Matt Scaff, uh, and I just kind of heard him in passing. But he was telling Scaff that he needs to use his chest like a hand. And we're like, what is, Daniel, what are you talking about? You're crazy. That's not even real words. That's not even real jujitsu words. And, uh, but if I started tr trying to feel what he was talking about while he had the mount. And I think this is what he was trying to say, is to grab under the chin with your peck and distribute your weight. So kind of fight me a little bit here, right? I grab him under the chin and distribute everything back over that way, right? This is crucial because as long as he's looking this direction, he can't recover his guard on this side. He can only recover on this side now. Well, this is not the side that he's strong on most likely, right? So it's really easy to control a guy, especially if he's one-sided with his guard, super easy. But even if he likes to recover his guard on that side, can you recover guard on that side? And I'm not even doing any, I'm doing nothing, right? Except for just making sure he doesn't have an easy out. And then when I'm ready, look, I could just I'll make that little windshield wiper right there. This is very uncomfortable for him, I assure you. I continue to distribute the weight here, making his chin turn, turn, turn. And he's gonna try to grab He's gonna to try to stop me from getting underneath him with this arm. Yep, he doesn't want any of this to happen, but slowly I just work my way, constantly keeping my weight on his chin. I slowly work my way around until I clear his arm. And once I clear his arm, then I lift and I straighten my arm. I don't try to, sque don't try to squeeze him. You feel that's not the angle anymore. Mm -hmm. There's nothing there now. I'm trying to pull his chin into me. I'm gonna get my back taken. Maybe I'll pop his head off if I'm twice his size or something, but Technically speaking, there's really nothing here. But if I lift the head and straighten the arm and I use my ribs here, the same way that you would use your ribs in a north-south choke, I am completely, my body weight off the ground, I'm totally on his arteries and he's passing out, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's not some neck crank. That's not uh, some goon move. Like that's a pure, clean blood choke, the same way that a north-south is, right? It's just, I'm coming off at this angle here instead of this one but I'm squeezing him here on my ribs. And it's my body weight that does the work. I really never squeeze him at all. Uh, Josh, tell him. I, I, it looks so unorthodox. I feel compelled to make Josh communicate with you how bad that position is. Yeah, no, like you're going out very quickly. Yeah. Uh, what about the pin at the chin? Um, I feel like my head is immobilized like it's just glued to the floor I can't I can't look this way I can't adjust make any of the necessary adjustments with my head yeah and your hips are surprisingly uh ineffective mm -hmm. because of how up how high up I am and how isolated your like I got your spine stuck right here so this can happen from a variety of different positions if I if I just I just started using it for the arm triangle because like stay tight to me here because mm -hmm. if I can get my turn right there it makes that really easy right but it even works in here keep it tight keep your chin tight it even works down here look i just got to get my chest under his chin and i can lift him and sit him right there and now let's play from here josh i want you to escape for real if you can mm -hmm. all right go
and I never even have to worry about squeezing. It's a crazy move. It's crazy. It's a crazy move. I don't, I don't suggest that you make it your A game necessarily, but there's definitely a lot to be learned about jujitsu there, and I think it's worth exploring.